Hey there everybody, my name is JW, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another awesome tank tutorial for you. But first, like always, we're going to mention this lovely tanker yard we have over here and our Discord server. So if you're interested in receiving a shout out at the start of the video or interested in receiving uh, instructions on how to get a build requested, look no further than your tanker yard and Discord server. Links down in the description. And to join, there are two ways. One, leave your gamer tag in the comment section of this video. And two, join the Discord server. And what gamer tags am I looking for? Well, I'm looking for your Java, Bedrock, Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo gamer tag. And you'll receive a shout out at the start of the video with your player head on the pedestal. So people can remember you when they click back on this video. So if that sounds good, let's carry on. And today, probably a really, really requested vehicle is this the m4a3 e8 sherman otherwise known as the ez8 sherman which is by far one of the most requested uh sherman variants i have been asked to do i think i did a lot put a lot of detail into it uh so yeah let's get into it that means we're going to america again land of fried chicken <laughs> anyways let's get into it so, yeah, we're gonna head all the way down here. I need to just, uh, do, do, do. here we are. And let's get to it, shall we? So today, you'll be needing block of concrete, uh, black concrete, or Paul Sandersite, stone brick slab, stone brick stairs, stone slab, stone slayers, green terracotta, andesite wall, and white concrete. So once you have these, we're gonna start with the black concrete. I decided to change it up a bit on how we do treads now. So here we go. We're going to start right here with one. Skip. One, two. Skip. One, two. Skip. One. Then skip three. And do the same. One. Skip. One, two. Skip. One, two. Skip. One. There we go. Don't. Uh, we're going to keep hang on to those. We're going to take our stone brick slabs now and do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four like that placeholder placeholder full block I'm at a slab and slab next stair and stair and on the rear a stair and a stair with a stair and another stair all right on the front here we're gonna put a polish sanders eye block here and then in between each slab we're gonna put a green block on top of each slab there we go now we're gonna take uh, stone stairs, start from this side and do one, two, three, four, five, six. And do it on the other side of the green block as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have like that. And that will complete your track section. And remember folks, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause, rewatch, rewind, and do whatever you need to do to get this awesome tank into your world. So, all right, so let's continue. So we do not need these three materials anymore. So let us begin on the front. So we're going to build the transmission housing. And like that. There we go. Come on inside and do the floor. Let's build the floor back. Right to there. We're right here. We're going to put full block black concrete on these ends and a slab in between. And then you can come inside and do a ring of green like we always do. There we go. Alright, starting at the front now. We're going to do one, two, three. Skip and one. Put a green block right there. That's for your bow gunner of the 30 cal. Next we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you do one, two, three. Like so, and one, two, three. Here we're gonna do stairs. Just to change it up a bit. All right. Next, we're gonna come back up to the front and then do a row of slabs and break open two holes. Now we'll do stairs behind that. Like that. All right, then we're gonna put a white block here and here. And then a green block, green block. Two stairs, 
two stairs, two slabs, two slabs, row of three slabs right here, and then one, two, three, right there. And let's see, I think right here we'll cut off the engine compartment. There we go. Don't forget to cover it. Just like that. I should have made it to Sherman's one block longer now that I think about it. Yeah, well. Alright, now for the turret. We're going to start at the gun mallet. One right here with one, two on each side. Let's add that 76 millimeter gun. One, two, three, four, five. With a muzzle brake at the end. And then green block, green block, white block, white block, green block on the right hand side, and a slab on the left hand side. Next, we're going to do upside down stone stairs. Just like that. Next, we're going to put, we can put a slab right there if you want to, because it's just another slab that's going to go on top of it. Here, we're going to do a ring of stone stairs. So, one like this, one here one here and one there so you have that roundedness to the top patch of the turret now we're gonna do one two three like so all right and there we go the base body is done so we can get rid of these materials keep the stone slab we're gonna use that later all right so now it is time for cosmetics and for cosmetics we're gonna grab green carpet dark oak button uh, we'll save the item frame for a little bit later. Spruce sign, dark oak trapdoor, tripwire hook, flower pot, uh, birch button, and ladder. Just to start out with. So your ladders are going to go on the rear here. One, two. Birch buttons on your white blocks. There we go. Flower pot. One, two, three. For viewports, tripwire hooks, every other spacing, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. All right, dark oak trapdoor on top of these green blocks from the bogies. This uses the HVSS uh, suspension. Put one right here on this. And then one here and one there there we go and also back here there and there all right spruce sign also on the track or suspension system and two, four on the front and two right here with two right here and then on this side okie dokie dark oak buttons one two three four five six seven on the muzzle brake one two three four five six seven seven there we go green carpet we're going to put right here in the white blocks and down below here and also right here there we go and we're also going to keep this alright so next we're going to grab another brick fence, iron bars, iron trap door spruce trap door, lever Polished blackstone pressure plate and heavy weighted pressure plate. So we're going to put that right there and that right there. And then a polished blackstone right there. We're going to put another brick right there. And then one, two, three, four. I'm not going to extend it up one more. All right. Iron trap door. We're going to do, let's see, one, two, three. One, two, one, and 
uh, we'll do it except for we're going to keep it real quick. All right, so then we're spruce tractor. We're going to do one, two, three on the back here. A little extra stir witch carriage. And then levers. We're going to place one lever here and here and one at the front of the turret. There we go. All right, now for the last few materials, which will be anvil, dark oak fence gate, end rod. We're also going to grab another andesite wall. Put that right there. On top of this, we're going to put the anvil. We're building our 50 now. Put that right there. That one right there. And then an end rod right there. Stone slab off to the left hand side. And a green carpet on top of that. There we go. We're also going to put an end rod down here. And that will do that. Next we're going to put the iron trap door right there. And there we go. Now for the last few materials, which will be item frame, glass pane, and red stained glass pane. So we're going to put two item frames right here for our headlights. There we go. Don't need that. And then two in the rear for taillights. Now this is just a little added thing I uh, saw some others do. I'm just going to put them like this. kind of helps differentiate the kind of the road wheels on the tracks. The When they started more using more uh, rubber on them. Instead of just steel and steel. So there we go. And that will do it. You have successfully completed the M4 A3 E8 Easy 8 Sherman World War II medium tank. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button wherever they're going to move to. Hit that subscribe button as well. I love a new edition by Vundavan Wonderful Subscriber. Thank you guys so, so much for doing what you do. Liking, subscribing, and sharing, and all that. Really means a lot to me. Means a lot to the channel. Means a lot to the community. Speaking of the community, don't forget to join the Discord server. Link is down in the description for ya. It's really fun. I love greeting new people. Love talking with you. When I get the time to talk with you, it's been busy lately. But not by the time you watch this video in the near future or the far future or whenever you watch this video. So if that sounds good to you, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>